everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Uh. Oh, <laughs> excuse me, Auntie. Sorry, that was embarrassing. No need to be embarrassed, Emma. Everybody burps and farts. It's a part of life. But Auntie, it's so embarrassing. Why do we have to burp and fart anyways? Good question, Emma. Well, to understand why we burp and fart, we first have to understand what is a burp and fart. A burp and fart are forms of gas that our bodies release. Gas, Auntie, but how do we get these gases in our body? Well, Emma, when we eat food and drink, we not only swallow the food and drink, but also air. This air is made up of gases, which include nitrogen and oxygen. These gases are used by our body to help us break down foods in the intestines and give oxygen to our organs. We also take in gases when we sleep by breathing them in. Gas is so sneaky, Auntie. Yep, we also get gases not just from the air, but our body makes them. When we eat food, it goes down into our intestines and is broken down by our body to get vitamins and nutrients. During this process, gases, mostly hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and methane are made. Wow, Auntie, that's a lot of gas. Exactly right, Emma. So after collecting all these gases from eating, drinking, sleeping, and digestion, our body can only hold so much gas. So whatever gases we don't use will escape our body by traveling up our esophagus and out our mouth as a burp or they will travel down the intestines and out the anus as a fart. <laughs> okay, so Auntie, how come when I drink soda, I wanna burp even more? Good question, Emma. Well, soda is carbonated, which is what makes it bubbly and fizzy. And this carbonation happens because of carbon dioxide gases. So when we drink a lot of soda, the excess carbon dioxide makes us want to burp a lot more often. <laughs> Silly soda! Also, when we eat or drink really fast, we take in more and more air quickly. So it will make us want to burp and fart even more. Another good reason why we should slow down when we eat and drink. Good to know, Auntie. So, Auntie, why do farts sometimes smell bad? Well, that has to do with the combination of gases. You see, food gets broken down in our digestive tract by an army of soldiers called bacteria. Bacteria, Auntie? I thought bacteria were bad. Well, certain bacteria are bad and can cause infections but we actually have millions of bacteria in our intestines that are very good and important. They're called our gut microbiome, and they help us break down food. As these bacteria break down foods, they release gases. This combination of gases mixed with chemicals in our body called hydrogen sulfide and ammonia, which are in the large intestines. And in this combination of gases mixing with hydrogen sulfide and ammonia, it gives gas that stinky smell. Wow, silly bacteria, stop being so stinky when you're working. So, Auntie, how come some days I have way more burps and farts than others? Well, Emma, it has to do with what we're eating and drinking. So some foods produce a lot more gas when they're broken down than others. For example, beans, onions, and fatty or fried foods make our bacteria work extra hard and produce even more gas. Also, some people have a harder time digesting lactose, which is a sugar found in dairy products like milk, yogurt, cheese, and ice cream. So they may get more gassy when they have those types of foods. 
foods. Good to know, Auntie. Also, having to fart more can be your body's way of telling you, hey, Emma, it's time to go to the bathroom. So pay attention to what your body is telling you. <laughs> that is true. Thanks, Auntie, for explaining. You got it, Emma. And it's important to know that everyone burps and farts, and it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Animals and even insects fart too, Emma. Really, Auntie? Emma, do you know what organism farts more than any other animal on Earth? Hmm, besides my dad? <laughs> um, not sure, Auntie. Hmm. The answer is termites. Termites, Auntie? Yes, termites are these little insects that eat wood. And because the digestion of wood is really hard to break down, this produces a lot of gas. And even though they're so teeny small, the amount of gas they make is enough to actually go into our air. Wow, Auntie, yep. Cows and camels also produce a lot of gas from their farts, and that also goes up into our air as well. Well, Auntie, that's amusing. <laughs> Good one, Emma. All right, Auntie, let's go outside. Last one to the door is a gassy termite. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please!